if you believe in a creator, then you have to believe that this, him dying on this day was going to happen regardless. How many incidents have to take place before you realize what the true issue is? We can't battle gun violence. Gun violence is a byproduct of whatever the fucking sickness is. You don't, I don't want a fucking medicine for sneezing. I want a medicine for this cold that I have. to you by my olive leaf olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure regulating your diabetic blood sugar lupus fibroid stds and a whole bunch of other shit that you're gonna need in the bedroom big home now to get your bottle you go to my olive leaf or call 612-567-3263 get your shit together big home Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Canseco, and this is Are You Fucking Serious? Um, if, you're, if you're not a street nigga, if you could, man, if you're not a street nigga, if you've already established that you don't live by street rules, if you've already established that this is not what the fuck you bought, please continue to read off your paper. On May 5th, 2018, Yadavada was murdered on the 100 block of 68 in Maine, and the criminals have not been brought to justice. And have your gifts, have your pictures on the screen. You do it like that. Read right off the paper like you've been fucking doing. No one needs your opinion on street shit if that's not who the fuck you are. You niggas are internet niggas. Not street niggas who came on the internet. You are internet niggas. You've been playing video games and you've been on the internet. You never came outside. You're not gonna come outside. That's not like that's not your life. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm trying to be. That's what I, I don't know. I'm saying that that's what I'm trying to be. I'm just saying when it comes to situations like this, please. So many things I need to break down. Um firstly. Lord Jesus. Firstly, you don't fucking talk about no goddamn, this is who fucking did it. This is, you don't even put that shit out there. Like, and if you put it out there, please stop covering street shit. Because obviously, you're a police officer. If you're putting out and saying this is who the criminal is, please stop giving opinions on street shit. The only way that you can give opinions on street shit after you fucking did police work is if you're a police officer. There is no middle ground. I'm just an internet person, so I'm a journalist, so I can just, I can, no. No. You trying to red mask and, and, and uh, niggas got the same call? The nigga, um, our streets and shit like that, he just got killed behind some shit like that. Then niggas find out, oh man, that wasn't you who did it. God damn. Shit. My bad. But you broadcast, like you niggas so thirsty for stories because you're just reading off the paper and trying to get your views up and shit like that. So thirsty for stories, you don't give a fuck what the fuck you putting out there. I, I'm not, I... Who killed X and, and, and Jimmy Wapo? If the same niggas who killed JoJo and Phil and them yesterday. What's the difference between X getting killed, Jimmy Wapo getting killed today, and, and Mook Mook and, 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 and Lil Line and them, you know what I'm saying? Not even Lil Line and no. all. Uh, Lil, Lil J and them. Lil Tiger. You know what I'm saying? They just got killed yesterday. But it wasn't no news coverage. Everybody was smiles and oh, it's all love. It's all good, man. Look, I know you're enjoying your video, but give me one second. When you go to the PayPal to donate, all my AO Nation members, do not go to paying for item and services. 
It holds the money and it's charging you. If you have done that, if you've donated and you've hit paying for item or services, you need to go back and release those funds. I have not gotten them. Uh, even if you're buying a shirt, do not hit paying for item or service. It's charging you. Go to send money to a friend. It's two options. And hit the send money to a friend so that it comes straight to me and we don't have to release them because they're asking for a tracking number, which obviously I don't have if you're giving a donation. Even with the shirts, I'm not going to have that tracking number. If you want the shirts, just put $25 in the PayPal and then go to the messenger and give me your address and in three or five business days, you will have the All You See Your Shirt. Uh, all my local artists and advertisers, you need to have a $100 budget if you want to do business. Also, you need to be ready to promote. Do not hit me until you're ready to promote. Period, point blank. I don't want to talk about your idea, about your company, and no shit like that. I have too much going on. If you're an artist and you want feedback and advice on your song, you need to send a $35 deposit so I can listen to it and give you the feedback. I don't have time to do this shit for free. Okay? Um, what else? Uh, T-shirts, PayPal... Advertising. That's it. Uh, this is Saki, and this is Aki. So if you hear me fussing them in the background, now you know what they look like. I'll see you in a minute. Enjoy the video. So what what are we saying? We got a situation like Cook Up Johnson is Future's cousin. So like, I right, so fuck it. I told Cook Up, like, dog, them niggas in South Carolina, you will be another fucking victim out this bitch because it's like, so... When somebody come to Florence, South Carolina, Cook Up Johnson is going to be the opening act. He's going to be on stage with these folks. When nobody else on stage, he on stage. The cameraman will take out all the footage. As soon as he gets on stage, Cook Up Johnson in the shit, man, goddamn, delete the shit out. Because of his, because he's tied into the industry. Niggas don't like when you get in front of them. This, like, understand how deep the jealousy like it's it's rooted in a nigga feet it, and it controls a nigga so i tell cook up like dog you can come to alabama and it'll be straight whatever like that because niggas don't know you so they don't mind for you to shine but if a nigga know you he's not going to allow you to win he's not going to allow it because as boosters say they will be hypnotized by the hatred to where that will force them into an action and that action most of the time it's going to be murder because a nigga rather do life in prison than to have to be out here and watch you shine. Or a nigga rather die than have to see you shine. What are we saying? Famous niggas, rich niggas are more important than regular niggas? Because the issue is gun violence. The issue is jealousy. If you don't want to die, don't be a rebel. That's the issue. Why is it more important today than it was yesterday? Because now death has hit your house. Now that death has hit somebody that you know, now it's time to cry and whine. I keep telling you motherfuckers. Social media is a Tuskegee experiment. Social media is giving us more reasons to kill each other. Social media is. Your phone is nothing more than your tracking device or the criminal's body cam. There is no way that you can go that I won't know. If, if, like, if I want to murder you, I, can just, I don't have to follow you in real life. Just follow your Instagram, follow your Facebook. I know everything I need to know. Social media is the killer. Why you niggas out here implicating nigga for nigga and shit like that, you never gonna get to the fucking... Two niggas was killed on the same day in two different parts of the fucking country. You can't just point out the byproducts of an issue. You need to deal with the fucking issue itself. How much you want to bet that um, if we go look at the numbers, since the inception of Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc., the murder rate for black men has gone up, probably black, but fuck that, for black men, they're endangered species, because black men are the endangered species, not black women. 
How much do you want to bet that if we look at the fucking numbers, the murder rate, police, ha I, they have to know this. Since the inception of Facebook and social media, etc., the murder rate has went up 300 times, 300%. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's the, it's the gift and the curse. Social media made it to where niggas can become famous faster and niggas can die faster. Already, they already are pushing another faggot ass nigga on us. Some nigga named Squid Nice and a nigga named Skinny something. Skinny Q or some shit like that. Some nigga with pink hair and some nigga with blue hair. Just dumb as fuck. Dumb as fuck. Kind of crazy too, as these new niggas are being pushed in, the old niggas are being pushed out. When I say old niggas, I mean the old new niggas. For all you police ass niggas who are pointing out this killer and that killer, niggas very rarely have more than one body. If they have one body, they rarely have a more like that's the, that's the last one they, they they murder one nigga and it's over with. Rarely will you find a real killer who's actually killed more than one nigga. So pointing out the nigga who killed one person ain't gonna help a fucking thing because who you need to be pointing out is a nigga who's about to kill some. See, see, here it is. You niggas are reactive. You're reactive. I'm proactive. I speak about the bullshit before it takes place. This is where this is going to lead. Social media is a Tuskegee experiment. It's killing niggas. Let's do something about this social media. You need, fuck that dumb ass. Man. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit, man. Goddamn, we need to find out who killed. What the fuck is that going to do? That nigga already, already killed his victim. The victim is already dead. It's already over with. It's gone. It's over with. That nigga that got his body, he out the way. You need to be looking at the next nigga who gonna kill. Like, so when Lil' Lonnie died, all right, the nigga who murdered him, whatever like that, all right, so them niggas ain't gonna murder nobody else. But still, uh, Mubu Crump died. Then goddamn, um, uh, uh, Zach died. Of course, now, and, and, and it goes on. It's like, these niggas, it's not no serial killer going around and killing no fucking body. It's different niggas that have been infected with whatever the fuck it is that they have put inside of this social media. This shit sound crazy, don't it? That, that's retarded, ain't it? Whatever they put inside of social media. How much you want to bet that in order for them motherfuckers to really... You think them niggas, uh, we just going to pass by the motorcycle shop at this time, whatever like that. How the fuck they knew he was there? Why is it mandatory... For an artist to be on this goddamn phone and making posts every fucking day. No matter where the fuck he's at, he gotta make a post. Gotta do a video. Hey, what's up, y'all? Yeah, I'm just finna. Yeah. You have, if you don't do that, motherfuckers, uh, academics were just talking about uh, Ball Alert was hollering at him about why he hadn't made no, uh, why he didn't make no post that day. It's unnatural for us not to disclose our location, our mood, and everything else about our day. It's unnatural to do that. That's being taught to us. So even if you're aspiring to be someone who niggas hate, you have to take on these characteristics of recording yourself every fucking day. How many times have we seen what a nigga voluntarily records get him either killed or sent to jail? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. I'm just retarded as fuck. Stop. Fans are going to be fans. They're fanatics. And let me talk to you fans for a second. If y'all are claiming that X helped you with your depression and this situation destroys everything that he instilled in you, then he didn't do shit. 
from my understanding, what X stood for was overcoming depression, positivity, and all this shit like that. Um, you even have fans uh, going to uh, them niggas in Florida, pay you to my some. I hate y'all. Uh, I wish y'all died. Shit like that. It's kind of like they lost their medication for their depression. If you have to take medication for your ailment, for your illness, then it's not cured. It's just being whatever that word is. It's not cured. If you were cured, you wouldn't have to take the medication. As soon as you run out of medication, you find out that you're in a worse position than when you started. Because now, not only do you deal with depression, you deal with addiction. When Martin Luther King died, it, this is a moot point, but when Martin Luther King died, his message and what he stood for did not die with him. He was merely the vessel that that message was brought through. Do you believe in God? Like, do you believe in, do you have like a religious base? Okay. If you have a religious base or even if you believe in a creator, then what you must believe in is that everything is predestined. We are merely on the ride. You know what I'm saying? We just on the ride. Like it's a roller coaster, we just on the ride. You don't control a goddamn thing, but unless the only like they say the unforgivable sin is to commit suicide. Because that's you. Unlocking your fucking harness and jumping off the fucking roller coaster. That wasn't supposed to happen. The roller coaster was supposed to go up to the side. You know what I'm saying? The ultimate sin is to play the creator. To not to, to, to be so arrogant that you feel like you're the creator. This is why people feel like five percenters are, you know, blasphemous and shit like that because they believe that they are the gods. If you believe in a creator, then you have to believe that this, him dying on this day was going to happen regardless. How many incidents have to take place before you realize what the true issue is? We can't battle gun violence. Gun violence is a byproduct of whatever the fucking sickness is. You don't, I don't want a fucking medicine for sneezing. I want a medicine for this cold that I have. I'm not going to cry and, and, and give this situation. I'm going to use this situation as I told you. I'm going to use this situation to help as I do with every video. The only reason that I'm broadcasting on this is because now you'll listen. Now you'll you'll bring your attention front and center to now we can talk. Now you see like this is a fucking issue. Um in the um what 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 America has branded as uh extreme Muslim or uh, people under uh, uh this Islamic belief they uh, become martyrs. Uh, the same thing with uh, white supremacists as they, they uh, they'll uh, kill like the, the, uh, Dylan Ruth and shit like that. He was a martyr for white supremacists believing that um, if you don't kill the black people that the white people will cease to exist. So he felt like he was a martyr for his cause. Do you believe that X was a martyr for the um, positivity cause because out of this horrible situation what will come from it has to be positive if don't nothing change but the way that you see shit maybe now you will see that the true issue is nothing more than social media in the way that we portray it Social media is so important that niggas will live and die by it. This is the issue. Now we have to figure out how do we fix it. Mark Zuckerberg and every fucking creator, 
every fucking, these motherfuckers don't have to carry no weapons. They've never been fucking shot at. Successful as fuck. Do you not fucking believe that we were given this goddamn tool of death, this death tool, because we're the only ones that's, that are dying from social media. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. We're the only ones that are dying from tweets, Instagram posts. If you want to disrespect the nigga, you put his goddamn bitch on your Instagram. You don't give a fuck about a nigga, you tweet something about him. If you hard, you'll tag a nigga in your post. But social media ain't the issue. You don't think that maybe some of this shit that's being thrown on social media is kind of like what they do on Love and Hip Hop? Throw a, throw a steak in, a, in the middle of Hungry Dogs? Everybody trying to climb to the top and they make it seem like social media is the way that you get out. Social media is how you jump over the bullshit of the record labels because you can go straight to the fans. But also, the fans can critique you directly. What the record labels were were a buffer in between the magazines. They were a buffer in between the fucking artists and the fans. Now that the fans have a direct line to the fans, it's good for the white artists, for the pop artists, because they get to see. But these I, Taylor Swift don't post every day. Drake don't post every goddamn day. Only us. Real street niggas. I, no, I got it, new. You know what? It ain't nothing fuck new. It ain't nothing fuck new. It ain't nothing bitch ass new. I been had this shit new. I been had this shit fuck new. Got plenty of fire too, fuck nigga. Plenty of fire. Fuck nigga. Hit plenty of leaks, nigga. The niggas who are being implicated in the murder, niggas go straight to their social media. Tracking devices, criminal body cam. Right here. You look at what Justin Bieber and how often motherfuckers like that post. You look at how much money they get. They're showing you that you don't have to do that. Only us. Only the fucking dogs. Only the dogs have to fight every day for their fucking meals. If a motherfucker say something about you on social media and you don't respond, your fucking career gonna take a hit for it. The issues are not the conditions of the trap. But being in the fucking trap. The Sarconian experiment. That DJ said. I, I, it's, something, it's probably something else. But the, when the two rats are in the fucking. You know what I'm saying? The trap. You don't think that. A lot of these motherfucking. And I, as I told that white boy. When I say white folks. When I say white man and shit like that. I'm not talking about. The color white I'm talking to white supremacists Now if you get offended by that shit That's on you But like I said Y'all ain't the one that need help We the one that's under attack 24 fucking says We the ones that gotta At every corner We have to be vigilant And be trying to find out What's the hook here If I go down this road What the fuck I need to make sure We have to live in real life And reality every day A black woman Doesn't have to do that because she's walking on a tightrope also, but she has a safety net. We're on the tightrope with a fucking tiger and a fucking shark, and we got a fucking jug of knives. On fire. All while hula hooping. That's every day. A nigga can't live in no fantasy world and pretend like I ain't no racism. Ain't no goddamn, ain't no way. A nigga has to live in real life every minute of every fucking day. There are so many fucking ways to destroy the black man. As we fucking see. I told you motherfuckers about them goddamn folks in fucking Maryland. Them folks beat the fucking police unconscious. And were taken in alive. 
A nigga can't drive down the goddamn street without getting killed. In his own city. And niggas gonna do it. White supremacy. Has been so fucking enhanced. That they can get the slaves to kill the free men willingly. White supremacy technology has enhanced white supremacy. Technology has enhanced white supremacy so much that they can hypnotize the black man. The, no, they can hypnotize the slaves to kill the free black man. Listen to what the fuck I'm saying before they cut me off. Because I'm talking to you right now. White tech... Every, every time we advance technology or anything we advance, it also advances white supremacy. And, and you know, DJ said it, it's, it's no such thing as white supremacy, only black inferiority. And, and I rock with that. But... Look at how in the fuck advanced these motherfuckers have gotten to where they can get the slaves to kill the free niggas. The slave run off the plantation. Now he a free man and he living good because he done made it to the north. These fucking slave masters can get the goddamn slaves to go hunt that nigga down. Nigga don't even know how the fuck he did it. Guarantee you by the time they catch the niggas who, because niggas ain't, I, see, I was on some shit like the niggas who, that it gotta be white folks, it gotta be the white supremacists, it has to be dirty cops who are killing niggas. It cannot, ain't no fucking way that niggas are killing niggas like this. Nah, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no way that niggas are killing successful niggas. Ain't no way that niggas can see that they taking down every successful Morgan Freeman, Steve Harvey, be a cop. Ain't no fucking way that niggas can see that we under this type of fucking scrupulous assault. And they still will aid in the destruction of the black. Ain't no fucking way it can happen. I'll be goddamn if these motherfuckers have not taken black inferiority to the next level to where now the slaves will go find the free slave, the free, the, 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 the runway slave that has now become successful. They will go find him and kill him at their own will. Five years after the, 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 the niggas, they're going to catch the niggas. And five years in, after they, you know, got their prison sentence, they doing their life term because this capital murder, uh, murder in the commission of a fucking crime. Five years into it, these niggas gonna help on a whole fucking, you know what I'm saying? And reading the Bible. Yeah, brother, you know, th th these niggas who walk around in jail with just hugging the Bible all day. Yeah, brother, because they, they not tough. Because these niggas, all they do, they, they shoot, you shot a nigga. You gonna go to prison and be nothing. Like, nigga, come on. Like, you, you can't fight, nigga. This is why you pick the gun up. You can't fight. You don't want to get the fuck beat up. You feel like a man with the gun, just like the whole ass police officer. The whole ass police officer that can talk the shit because he got an extra dick. That's not no man. Under, please understand that. But this, this not not a nigga walking around the prison hugging about. Yeah, brother, God is good. You know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing. I I got faith that I, I'm, I'm gonna win my appeal. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, brother, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, brother, don't don't do that, brother. You know, I I, I was once in the street and, and they, they they you know they pride themselves on catching the body. I, I was once in the street and and I was just so confused. I was just so confused, and, and, and I, the, the white man uh, got to my mind. It's only reactive. It's only after they... It's only after they're taken away from their tracking device. Maybe it's not a tracking device. You been on Get Out when she was hitting the um the cup and then hypnotized to take him to the, the, the sunken place? What if the phone emits some type of vibration that keeps a nigga hypnotized? Because now once you're in prison, now you got a clear head. When you in jail, you got a real clear head. You ain't thinking about the bullshit. Now you now you wanna hear. 
what's going on with the white man, the white supremacist. Now, now you can see that the black man is your brother. Once you take that bitch and that fucking get out cup, you get that shit away from you. Now you can see who your true enemy is. Y'all need to share these goddamn videos. Cause I'm just talking to y'all, but a lot of shit be coming through that I'm, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to X, 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 like, R.I.P. to every nigga who died from social media. Y'all stop uplifting some niggas unless you want them niggas to be martyrs for the cause. Stop uplifting niggas because just like I'm gonna label this video, um, uh, X, 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 Tentation's death was a good thing. X, 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 Tentation's death was good for black people. Every time y'all uplift these famous niggas that got money that died, that's how I'm gonna label the shit. If you're not gonna report on every nigga that died from fucking social media, not gun violence, social media, don't report on it. Don't report on it. Because I'm not gonna uplift one nigga while they saying, yeah, that nigga died, but ain't. Like, like I'm telling you, man, look, uh, Takashi, Takashi 12 over there, man, you gotta see what he doing. Oh, man, they're crazy. Every nigga that died from social media is important. Every nigga that died from social media is a martyr for the cause. A eye opener. Not just the ones that have money. Big Facts Podcast. Make sure y'all hit the PayPal. See y'all in a minute.